What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining, I started this channel because I'm a major horror fanatic. I love anything to do with horror movies and I absolutely love horror collectibles. In the coming weeks, I'm doing my first video essay and my first movie reviews, all things to do with horror. You should definitely consider subscribing if all of that interests you. All right, anyways, I think we have possibly the most epic Freddy Krueger collectible unboxing you're ever gonna see on YouTube. Um, somebody might have done one better than this, but it just so happened that all of these figures and collectibles came in today. Um, and I actually have the day off work today. This all worked out so perfectly. And I, I decided I have to make a video of this one because I can't open these without at least recording it and seeing, you know, my reaction to, I know what's in these boxes, but now after taking all the labels off, I don't know what box is what. And um, this is gonna be so exciting, honestly. I'm a little bit nervous because this is a lot of money involved in these collectibles, but these are ones I've always wanted. These are gonna be all to do with Freddy Krueger, of course, but there is a little bit of Jason Voorhees in there as well. That's the only hint I can give you um, before we open the first box. What we're gonna do is start it off with the first box. We're jumping right into these, and I'm just so excited. Hopefully uh, I can get some good angles of these. If not, I'll throw them in the light box over there and have some B-roll footage uh, rolling while I talk through some of these. So let's go and open this first box. Oh yeah, this one's pretty heavy actually. Um, so I'm again, I don't know what box is what at this point. A lot of them are pretty big and you know similar in size actually, so it's kind of hard to tell. We're gonna go ahead and open this up though. This is, man, this is awesome, guys. This is a pretty valuable uh, mail unboxing I got going on here. Uh, again, they're just figures I've always wanted, collectibles I've always wanted, and I was gonna purchase them at some point, one way or another. And I decided to just go ahead and get some of these. All right, so to start it off today, for the first, they gave me a bunch of these. Oh, so it's good packaging, I'll say that. Great packaging, but I'll go ahead and kind of give you a glimpse. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Just to get you an idea of what we're about to see. All right, here we go. Oh, man. And it's sealed, too. It's got the plastic around it. This thing is in excellent condition. Like, it is uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, it has some of the common wear on the front, but golly, look at this thing. I will be, th I'm definitely gonna throw these in the light box. You'll be seeing some B-roll footage of these figures, um, these collectibles as well. But just look at, this is a beauty to me. It's the special edition McFarlane, uh, Friday the 13th and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, so this is one of, always been one of my favorites. Uh, I do already have this Freddy figure but I didn't have a Jason one. And just the way they're packaged in here, it's not technically a Freddy vs. Jason figure. It is just Freddy and Jason in the special edition package. So this one is sick, guys. I really freaking love it. Hopefully you get one good final look at this and let me know what you think about this one. He's going on the shelf. Uh, actually, another thing with this whole unboxing video is I believe I just ran out of room completely. So I'm going to have to build another shelf a lot sooner than I anticipated. All right, so we're moving on to the next one. This one's going to be epic too. I promise you. I wasn't lying. After that first first box there, you can tell that when I say this is an epic horror unboxing to do with Freddy Krueger, I can, I can go ahead and say I'm already right off the first figure. Number two, box number two coming in. Let me know what you think about these kind of videos. I, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do them often, honestly, but I'll do more like male type unboxing videos um, if, if that's something everybody's interested in. And also thanks for all the new subscribers. I do appreciate that. Uh, it seems like the channel's starting to grow a little bit, so we're uh, definitely doing good, headed in the right direction. I do appreciate everybody subscribing. I wanna do a giveaway as well once we hit 100 subscribers, but I can't figure out exactly how I'm gonna be able to do it on YouTube. If you have ideas as far as just the setup of it or how to do one in general, let me know. Or maybe what I'll do is kinda of push it to Instagram or something like that, but I do wanna do a giveaway to give back to the community for sure, and I have a pretty good idea. All right, so here we go. Oh man, oh man, this is probably the one I am most excited about. Hopefully it stays. Seems like it's in pretty, pretty great condition. Oh yes. It's the cinema of fear, Nancy and Freddy scene. 
So this one is obviously one of the greatest horror scenes of all time. This is the nighttime version. There's also like a, I guess it's supposed to be with the lights on. I was gonna say daytime, but I think it's supposed to be with like the lights on or something, but this is the nighttime version of it and it is sick, isn't it? Again, you might be looking at this in the light box right now. More than likely, I'll be getting some shots of it, some B-roll footage here. So do enjoy this as this spins around and you get to see an epic shot of this Nightmare on Elm Street Nancy and Freddy diorama scene. Uh, Freddy's just poking right out of the wall. Oh man. I haven't even taken the time to look at it yet. I was just talking about it and showing it to everybody on camera. But wow, this is, this is awesome. Yeah. So I, yeah, of course this is, <laughs> they're kind of expensive, but totally worth it. Cause I'm afraid if I did not get this sooner rather than later, this is eventually going to be uh, extremely valuable just to a point where it's probably going to be hard to purchase for the average person. So that is the Cinema of Fear screen grab series two, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nancy and Freddy Krueger scene. That, that is epic. That is one of the most epic figures of all time. I have to say. All right, so that's already a lot right there. I'll, again, I wasn't lying about an epic horror unboxing. And we're moving on to the next one. Um, I, I almost kind of forgot, that's, you know, there's just so much going on. So much greatness in one video, I almost forgot what all else I have to open. I don't know what's in what box. I do have my suspicions about this one. This is, uh, man can't say it's going to be my favorite. I do think that Nancy and Freddy scene is just one of my favorites of all times. So far, some pretty excellent packaging. Um, all these were purchased on eBay. And most of the time, you know, I think everybody does pretty good with the packaging. Oh, man. Man, this one is sick, too. Yeah, I was right with my suspicions here. But this is going to be the last thing that involves Jason Voorhees in this. Um, so if you are only interested in seeing Jason after I unbox this one, uh, kind of give you a little showdown of it. That's it for Jason today. This is epic, guys. This is insane. Wow, I didn't even realize how big this was going to be. I picture this to be like half the fucking size. All right. This. Oh, my God. This Freddy vs. Jason, the diorama set, the actual Freddy vs. Jason diorama set. This is fucking amazing, honestly. All right, I don't know which one my favorite is. These are, again, these were collectibles that uh, I've always wanted. I knew at some point I was gonna buy, but I just, I guess I saved my money up and was able to, I don't know. I probably unnecessarily purchased a few of them. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> you know how it is, it happens sometimes. It, I, I could buy every figure. If I had the money, I probably would. But yeah, this is, wow, this is amazing. This box is in excellent freaking condition too. Oftentimes you'll see these posted, the plastic is all messed up and stuff, but this one is pristine, oh my god. And I'm looking at a sticker that says, Freddy vs. Jason box, $29.99. Wow, should have bought a bunch of those back in the day. Man, I regret buying a lot of these, not buying a lot of these figures back in the day. It's, it's so frustrating when you see the prices of some of this stuff now. And I was a fan when I was eight years old from up until now, and I always will be of horror franchises like Freddy and Jason and Michael and Chucky, everything. Um, but I didn't buy so many figures when I was younger. I don't know why, I guess just didn't have the money. Uh, so unfortunately I'm paying the extreme prices you gotta pay now, but this is so worth it. So freaking worth it. Let me know what you think about this diorama set right here of Freddy and Jason. Wow, what an epic one. He stays in the box. All these, again, are probably, there might be one thing that comes out of the box, but more than likely none of these are ever coming out of the box, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, if I run across one out of the box, I would purchase it and review it, but it is really, really hard to try to imagine paying the money for this and then open it, and you're, you're gonna instantly lose at least half the value, I would imagine. All right, so we're moving on to the next box. Hmm. This is a, a pretty big box for what I can imagine is still left, but we'll see what it could be. Oh yeah, very excited about this one as well. And it is the Freddy Dream Child figure from NECA. I already have him sitting back on the shelf over there. You can probably see, but he's out of the box and I just wanted to have one in the box. And this one is 
in pretty great condition i actually got him to be honest with you i got him for like 50 bucks and free shipping too so for that uh for this figure in particular that sounded like a pretty good deal to me and it looks uh it looks pretty damn good i absolutely love this movie for some reason and the, just the way he looks in this movie in particular uh this figure right here just the shine on it the hand it, it's a creepy ass look for freddy um, and this dream child look is just one of the best in my opinion. Up until this point, this has been a hell of exciting for me and I hope everybody is sitting back and enjoying this video. All right, here we go with the last box. It's uh, another pretty big one there. All some big ass boxes today. Last one, here we go. This is uh, obviously a must have, I do believe, if you're gonna be Collecting any of the NECA stuff, this is a must have, especially for a Freddy fan. Here we go. We have the Nightmare on Elm Street accessory set. So with this, you get Freddy um, from the Dream Warriors with his TV. You got the snake, uh, an Elm Street sign. What else is there in here? Two Elm Street signs. And then you get TV Freddy, of course. Uh, it's, it's a must have to have this accessory set, in my opinion. It's something I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while. I'd also love to get the Jason Voorhees one, but that one is hellaciously expensive. So I, I don't know. Let me know if you got one of those on hand and you have can maybe do a good deal on it. Do you just leave a comment or something? We'll figure something out. I would be happy to, uh, or at least interested in purchasing one if for a good price. Let me know in the comment section below. What is your favorite figure that I'll unbox from my mail unboxing today? As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.